हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अ फोर्थ एंड लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ सेशन थ्री परफॉर्म ऑपरेशंस ऑन टेबल एंड हियर इन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ कैन वी क्रिएट एंड एड रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू टेबल्स सो एक्चुअली इन द डेटा बेस वी हैव टू और मोर टेबल्स एंड इफ नीडेड वी कैन इस्टेब्लिश रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दो टेबल्स सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू प्रैक्टिकली हाउ कैन वी इस्टेब्लिश रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू टेबल्स ऑफ वन डेटा बेस so here for this i am going to use database student details and in the student details i have two tables one is marks and second one is student info so i am going to establish relationship between those two tables of student details database so now moving to open office space student details database so here you can see in student details database actually three tables are available bus marks and student info and here i am going to establish relationship between student info and marks table so whenever we want to establish relationship between two tables we have to click two step that we are getting on the menu bar and as i'm clicking on this two step here i'm getting one menu and in this menu we have to select first option that is relationships so after the relationships here we are getting one add tables window and in the add tables window we have to add tables among which we want to establish relationship so here as i want to establish relationship between student info and marks table so i have to add these two tables so first of all selecting student info add it and then after marks table add it so here after adding all the tables just close this add tables window so here now we are getting our both the two tables structure the student info and marks and as we cannot see all the fields of student info and marks so we can increase these windows size also so this is the way to increase size of these windows now after this as i want to establish one to one relationship between these two tables student info and marks so for this just select primary key of a student info table and then after drag it to marks table and then after drop it in the structure of the marks table so here i am selecting this roll number field of student info and then after dropping this field in marks table roll number so here as you can see that one line has come or one line is joining these two tables structure so this means we have established relationship between student info and marks table and here as one more thing you can notice that we are getting one at both the two ends so this means what that we have established one to one relationship between these two tables now after this we have to save this relationship so just click on this save option and then after file and then close so here we have established relationship between student info and marks table and here student info is the parent table and marks is the child table and in the student info roll number is the primary key and in the marks table roll number is the foreign key now after this i am moving to the next slide now next one is that whenever we are establishing relationship between two tables in that case we are getting one advantage and that is called referential integrity now referential integrity is what referential integrity is used to maintain accuracy and consistency of data in a relationship so because of the referential integrity we are able to maintain or achieve accuracy or correctness and consistency of the data that is stored in two or more tables now after this next is referential integrity helps to avoid so because of the referential integrity this is avoiding first is what adding records to a related table if there is no associated record available in the primary key table this means what that if record is not available in the parent table or the table having the primary key in that case that record we cannot enter in the table in which we have the foreign key now i am just going to explain this point practically and for this i am going to use the same relationship that i established just now so moving to open office based student details database so here the meaning of the first point is what i am just opening for this student info table so here you can see in the student info table we have record of three students and their roll number is 22 and 31 so this means what that as we have established relationship between student info and marks table so in the marks table we will be able to do entry of these three roll numbers only 22 and 31 and if we try to do entry of other roll number then that will not be possible and that is the meaning of the first point so here i am going to show you this that how first point is working here in this relationship so for this i am going to open marks table 
So here in the mask table, what I am doing? Here I have overall seven fields, and in the first field I have to mention roll number, and then in other six fields I have to enter marks scored by the student. So here, uh, for example, uh, I am just entering record of one student whose roll number is not available in the student info table, and that is twenty five, and marks eighty nine, fifty seven, forty two, sixty one, fifty seven. 98. Now here, as you can see, that roll number is 25, but this roll number is not available in the parent table or in the table in which we have the primary key. So here, what will happen that I will get one error message as I try to enter details in the second row. So here you can see I am getting error message, error inserting new record, and this is happening why? Because this 25 roll number that we are entering here is not available. in the table in which we have the primary key so for this what i have to do as there you have seen that details of three students are there and one student roll number is 2 so if i change 25 to 2 then i will be able to enter second record so this is the meaning of the first point that if value is available in the primary key table then that record only we can enter in the forward key so this is the first point of the differential integrity now second one is what changing values in a primary if any dependent records are present in the associated table this means what that we cannot do this means we cannot change value in a primary key if any dependent records are present in the associated table this means what that as you have seen that Uh, in the marks table, I have done entry of a student whose roll number is two. So in the student info table, now I cannot change roll number of that student. So now I'm going to show you this also. So for this, I'm going to use again the same Open Office Base Student Details database. So here, as I've done entry of second roll number in marks, so here I will not be able to do change in the roll number of Abhay Singh in the student info table. So here, for example, I am changing its value from two to two twenty-five, and moving to other records. So here, I am getting the error message, and this error message I am getting because of the reason that this record is available in other table also, and here because of this we cannot do change in the main table or a student info table. But if we want, we can do change in the roll number of other students because their record is not available in marks table. So if I want to change. Roll number of third student from 31 to 35, so that is possible because the student record is not available in marks table. So this is the second point that if a record is available other table, then in the table in which we have the primary key, their changes are not possible. Now moving to the third point. Now third point is what deleting records from a primary key table if there are any matching related records available in associated table. so here in the main table we cannot delete records if those records are available or if entry related to those records available in the associated table this means what that as we know that details of second roll number is available in marks table also so that's why in this table i cannot delete record of abhay so here i am trying to delete it so here you can see delete rows so yes i want to delete it so i am getting one error message because this record is available in associated table also so this is the third point of the referential integrity but if we want we can delete other records because those records are not available in the associated table so here when i am trying to delete details of this third student so here this is possible because that student details are not available in the associated table so these are the three points of the referential integrity now there after next slide now next is relationship between tables has to so whenever we are establishing relationship between tables so we are getting actually these advantages so first one is what save time as there is no need to enter the same data in separate table so actually when we are establishing relationship between tables so in that case we are able to save over time because same information we are not going to type again and again second one as we are not going to type the same thing again and again so in that situation data entry errors are also not possible that much and third one is summarize data from related tables this means what that if we want to get information from these tables among which we have established the relationship 
so that is also possible this means that as i have established relationship between the student info and marks table and if i want to see marks of one particular student by that student name so that is possible now in that situation i will get details from two different tables name from the student info table and marks from marks table and here as these two tables we have linked so that's why this is possible to get data from two different tables when we are establishing relationship among those tables so that is the third point here now moving to the next slide now types of relationships so here three types of relationship we can establish between tables one is one to one that this you have already seen one to one relationship second one is one to many or many to one and third one is many to many relationship now one to one relationship is what in this relationship both the tables must have primary key columns so in one to one relationship there must be primary key column in both the two tables one to many relationship in this relationship one of the table must have the primary key column but other table may not have the primary key column so that is what one to many now there are the many to many relationship so in this relationship no table has the primary key column so that is what many to many relationship so in this way we have three relationships or we can establish three different kind of relationships between two tables one to one one to many or many to one and many to many so here uh, you have seen different type of relationship that we can establish between two tables now there after the next one is remove the relationships remove the relationships means what that as you have seen that i established relationship between student info and marks table so we can actually remove that relationship also means relationship that we have established between two tables that we can remove also so now how can we remove relationship between two tables so that i am going to show you practically so opening open office base student in details database again so here i am opening that relationship so tools relationship and you can see again two tables are there with one to one relationship now if you want to remove or delete relationship between these two tables so for that you may click on the line that you are getting in between these two tables and there after right click and in the right click here we are getting this delete option so just click on this delete option and there after you can see that line got delete so there is now no relationship in between these two tables so this is a way to delete relationship or remove relationship between two tables so here session 3 of unit 3 is getting over and uh, session 4 will be started in the next video so this video i am going to end here